<laughs> Hi everyone, and today we're going to be doing an experiment on lung capacity. My name is Phil and I'm in MySpace and the good thing about everything that you'll see today is that you can try a version of this yourself at home. So we're talking about lung capacity, the amount of air that you inhale and the amount of air that you exhale, breathe out. And you use your lungs for that. And I have a model of them here. Actually, if I hold them out more closer to you there, you might see with perspective, they might match into my body a bit better. You have two of them and they work in parallel with your heart. Your heart beats, it pumps blood around your body and your lungs breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide to help your muscles get the, the stuff that they need to, to move and your organs and everything else to keep you alive. The way that your lungs inflate is through a diaphragm around the bottom of your body. And it's a very simple system that works. I've made a little model of it. You can do and try this yourself with a bottle and two balloons and a little bit of tape. When you pull this down like your, this is your diaphragm, your lungs, or up here, the balloon inflates. When you let go, it deflates, inflates, deflates, inflates, deflates. Really simple, you can see what's happening inside your body. As you pull this in, you'll see that the balloon inflates. So as the diaphragm pulls down, it inflates your lung and pulls all of that air in. And when you let go, it closes down and that air is pushed out. And what we're trying to figure out is how much air comes in and how much air goes out. So we have a contraption, one that you can build potentially at home. You will need complex materials, not complex at all, a bottle, uh, a container, a tube, and then a sink. Like I have this big container, you can do this in the bath, in the sink, anywhere that you can hold water, but not in your hands, you'll need more than that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some water, you're gonna fill it up to about a litre. You could use a, a litre of milk to roughly gauge this if you wanted. It doesn't have to be exactly precise, but when you're checking anything that has a gradient on it, you want to go down to the right level to make sure you're at eye level to see that I have a litre in that. I'm gonna pour a litre in here that's going to have capacity for about five or six litre because adults have about a six litre capacity of air in their lungs. Kids, it's going to be a little bit different because you're smaller. A litre has gone in and what you would do then is you would mark on this about where a litre is. Now, luckily, I have done a grade on all of this. You'll see that one is there. So this is the gradient. I've marked all of these up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour that water into here. So you'll see that I have all the, the marks up along outside of that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this with water. And a liter of air is about the same as a liter of water. In fact, it's exactly the same as a liter of water. So if we fill this up with water, what we're gonna do is turn it upside down safely and not spillingly, uh, put a tube into it. I'm gonna take a deep breath of air and then I'm gonna blow into it. And the amount of air that I push out should be same to the amount of water that gets pushed out of the bottle. Now, of course, this is a little heavy. It's a little bit messy. You would probably want to get some help or some adult supervision or someone who is responsible. If somebody else is using this at home, maybe use a paper straw at the top and clean the top of it every time somebody else uses it. I'm gonna put the tube into this. I'm gonna turn this up. I'm gonna get a paper straw at west because then that would ruin it. We have it here. Now you'll see that the water is here. I'll see where I'm starting and I'm going to start blowing in. Okay, so we should see this now. I'm going to go in three, two, one. Okay, so I've blown out there about four and a half liters and you will need supervision around this probably to help maybe lifting it or even blowing like this. And wherever you are, obviously don't fall into the water. There is always about a liter of air left inside your lungs so that you can reinflate them. If they got completely deflated, you wouldn't be able to breathe back in and inhale again. But yeah, I got four and a half liters. This is a, a mark of how much air I have inside my lungs plus that extra liter, so about five and a half liters. Try your versions at home and send them in to us. Try this, repeat the experiment a few times so you can get an average and send us in your results and see how you do. Go to www.rte.ie forward slash learn. So there you are. 
The amount of air that we pushed out is a good way of finding out the amount of air that you have inside your lungs. Your lung capacity. 